So I had a great response from my video that I posted yesterday from all you guys that I said that if you said where you were from that I would shout you out in the video. So here I am. I'm going to shout you guys out. Everyone that's left a comment so far anyway. And as you can see, I have you guys written down on a Time Warner cable random letter in the mail trying to get me to get onto their stuff, but I ain't about it. So shout out to the J Dog 139. Grew up in McAllen, or sorry, born in McAllen, raised in Houston. Um, so that's cool. That's not even far from where I am at all. Shout out to Blimey Charlie. They live in Brisbane in Queensland, Australia. How sick is that? That just sounds like one of the greatest places in the world, just by the name alone. Um, by the way, Meredith and I totally want to end up in England, all, I mean all over Europe, but we want to go to Australia for a good amount of time, so hopefully we can get a van, get it all um, converted into like a camper eventually, and then just ship it once we've had some fun here, just ship it out there, um, and I've already looked into price, prices and got quotes and stuff, so we'll see something like that in the near future, hopefully, or within around a year or so, hopefully. Shout out to Jeremy the Great McIntyre, who is from Space Coast, Florida. Cocoa Beach, he put uh, in quotations. And some of the reasons he said that Space Coast, Florida is worthy of visiting is as follows. They got the ocean, so for surfing, that's awesome. And for all other reasons that the ocean is awesome. They have lagoons. They get to see a lot of rocket launches, he said, which that's freaking cool. I mean, I don't, I've never seen a rocket launch, I don't think, not in real life, maybe just on TV, but that'd be awesome. He also said they have really big birds, that's cool, we just have small birds here. Occasionally we see eagles and falcons, but not really that often. Not far from Orlando, where all the theme parks are, and I'm pretty sure I've talked about this in videos before, I have, I need to go to Universal Studios and see the Harry Potter land thing. All the whole Harry Potter exhibit, the castle, um, the village and everything. I got, I'm dying to go. We've, you have no idea how many times we've talked about going. And I've, I've wanted to go forever, ever since they opened the, before they opened the Harry Potter thing, but definitely once they did that. Shout out to White Sickness, MGO, who is from New York, Queens, currently living in Florida. And he says, he or she says, if you come through Florida, you got to pass by Ocala. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. O-C-A-L-A. -A. Shout out to Nicholas Leon, or Leon, however you say it. But this dude has left me lots of comments. So seriously, man, you're an awesome dude. I really appreciate you watching, um, you know, sticking with me through these videos. I know they're not the, the, the craziest or the most entertaining, but they're fun, I think, you know, so... I'll put these out there for you guys. It's crazy because we kind of, after you see the, a bunch of the same people, sometimes there's just so many that I can't. But when you actually reply to your comments and you get to know, you kind of get to know certain people and certain viewers, it's really cool. So I like, that's why I always encourage comments because I like seeing and seeing what people have to say and what they think. So it's kind of a way for you guys to give back and I really like that. Shout out to Mixie Hoops who lives in Denver, Colorado, which is just right next door to me. I don't know if it's actually that direction, but uh, it's definitely west. So I'm dying to go there. A couple, Some of my really good friends go there pretty often, actually. Um, one of my buddies does a lot of, I think he does like stunt work or something out there, but they just have like some friends out there. I've never even been to Colorado, but I'm, I'd love to go. I want to go snowboarding out there so bad. I love snowboarding. If I could quit everything and just live in a cabin and snowboard the rest of my life, that would be ideal for me. So, yeah, we will definitely be hitting Denver, Colorado, probably sooner rather than later. Once we, uh, if, if not me just going and hanging out with some friends out there, Meredith and I will definitely be going through Denver whenever we uh, start our trip. So thank you, Mixie Hoops, for that. Shout out to Chris underscore C17, who lives in New Hampshire. I actually wasn't far from New Hampshire, honestly, when we were living in New York. We probably should have hit it, but there was just so many things to do while we were there, so we didn't even do everything that there was to do within, I mean, not even in Brooklyn, and that was a 30-minute drive, so, yeah, New Hampshire, possibly hit that up on the East Coast, but I think we'll probably hit up the West Coast first this time, because I've really only traveled East for the most, North and Northeast, so, um, slightly Southwest, but not really much, so I'm really wanting to go out there. We're definitely going in October, I'm pretty sure, to the 
Balloon Fiesta in New Mexico. Um, my sister lives out there, so we're gonna go out there and visit and chill. Shout out to I Vanilla, who lives in Hayesville, Kansas, which is, I think he said, south side of Wichita. I spent a lot of time in Kansas. Kansas honestly isn't my favorite place, to be honest, because there's not really much, unless you're in, Wichita is the greatest part of Kansas, to be honest, and the rest, I've gotten lost on a bicycle in Kansas. I've spent months inside of a, a little apartment in Kansas with nothing to do, so it's, I don't have the greatest memories there, but I, I just know great people there, so I end up, I always end up going back, so if you're near Wichita, then I'll probably be rolling through there. Maybe we could do a meetup whenever we pass through if you stay posted on my videos and see where we end up. Um, so yeah, that's everybody. One through eight. Thank you guys. One more time. The J Dog 139, Blimey Charlie, Jeremy the Great McIntyre, White Sickness MGO, Nicholas Leon, or Leon, Mixy Hoops. Chris C17 and I Vanilla. Thank you guys. I know it's been just a quick, more people have probably left comments by the time that I'm posting this. So, <clears throat> sorry if I didn't get to it in time, but I'm already like five, I have five full days vlogged that I still haven't edited, so I'm trying to catch up on everything. So, by the time you see this video, it's probably gonna, you're probably gonna be thinking that I'm not posting a shout out video, but I am, it's right here. So thank you guys for posting. All these people posted within like 24 hours after I posted the video, so I had to get to this video quick, so those are the people I got to. But thank you guys for watching. All of you guys who left comments and continue to leave comments, I really, really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to getting more and more into YouTube and really, because I, you know what, I just don't don't like Facebook, to be honest. And I, Instagram's okay, I like Instagram, I love pictures and seeing people's life through that, but Facebook has just become so much of just people showing you the lives that they want you to see and I'm friends with so many people I really only use it for work to be honest that's the only reason I have it because it's I get on there and get so frustrated with I'll see people post things and I'm like dude I've known you for a long time this is not even the kind of person that you are you know it's just like I don't know frustrating frustrating Facebook is everyone's front I feel like not everyone you know but a lot of people and I think it's everyone kind of falls into it here and there um, just by posting things no one really uses it, what it was for what it was for in the beginning, really just kind of cataloging your life and connecting with the, the, the people in your, your immediate life, you know, the people that you actually see on a day-to-day -day basis. Now it's all about networking and ads and all this kind of stuff, which, yeah, that in and of itself is frustrating. But the YouTube community, I really, really like, and there's many reasons why, but I'll tell you specifically because... It just takes more work to do YouTube. It takes, um, you can't, I mean, you can just film something and post it. That's all my beginning, my first videos, you know, were like that. I never edited, never wanted to have to. Um, and even still now I use basic editing tools. But really, I think it's, it's when someone has to put more effort into something, it's, they, they, they care more, you know. When, the way that someone edits a video or the way that someone talks, you really get to see the see them for who they are. I mean, I get people can put on acts in front of a camera and everything too. You really get to see their unique style and the way they edit their video and kind of their personality. And you get to see the things that they do or the things that they're interested in. Um, and so I guess that's more so for people who vlog, but even people who make how tos or you know maintenance or anything from how to build a cabinet you know you still get to see their humor and you still get a more sense of that person rather than just clicking on a page and reading words and seeing pictures about this person it's just so much cooler to see their personality and see how they function and talk and I think that's why people we I can I feel I get to connect with people on YouTube too because I watch people and even the people who watch my videos and leave comments you kind of get to know we talk more than almost everyone that I talk to on Facebook to be honest my whole point is I enjoy YouTube. I encourage others to to get on YouTube and to start making videos. My, my kind of my whole goal is to show people that you can do it with just a phone. My videos are not the clearest quality. I am not someone who's willing to. We live in a small apart, apartment, even right now. It's like 600 square foot. And that's a lot still, but just for the two of us and two large dogs, and we're considering moving into a van and driving all over, and. I just don't want to spend thousands of dollars on an expensive camera. I even have a GoPro, I have a DSLR, I have a Canon T3i, 
but my goal is to just show pe show that anybody with just a phone can be someone who's on YouTube. You can vlog, you can make how tos, you can make videos about literally anything that people will people will watch them. Um, eventually, someone will watch them. So, and that's what's crazy is you never know who it's going to be. But it's really cool. You get to meet lots of awesome people. I've met people in real life. I've traveled to different countries and met people from YouTube, and I've enjoyed every second of it i met some of the greatest people all right so shout outs done thank you guys for watching today sorry i kind of went on a little bit of a rant but i feel like in a lot of my videos lately i haven't really been talking much it's just been kind of like what's been going on and time lapses so here i am trying to chill with you guys and talk a little bit so thank you guys seriously for subscribing and coming back i do plan on getting more in depth and continuing with youtube and not being a slacker like i have been for the last couple years i want to take it seriously so, thank you guys. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching. I will see you guys again soon. And have so a great day. I got day. a few more, real quick, to throw in who commented as I was editing the video, so I wanted to get them in here. Vegan Hearts, who is from North Carolina, who said the plus of North Carolina, which is where she was born, I think it was a girl, um, is the weather is great, but she now lives in Minnesota, and that the great reasons to visit there is that there's no discrimination against like interracial couples, um, dreads or tattoos, etc. And uh, that it'd be really cool. So we definitely will probably come through there because that's kind of where we want to get to eventually anyway. Shout out to Truth who wanted to put a shout out for Metro Detroit, which I've been to Detroit. It's awesome. I do plan on going back and getting on film. That'd be freaking sweet. Maybe we can meet up and chill. Shout out to LA Life. Dude, you always comment on my videos. It's awesome. We're like buds now. I know you live in the UK, and we will absolutely be coming to the UK. You better believe it. We definitely plan on coming to the UK as soon as we can get, as soon as we can afford to. We're so bummed. We always talk about how we haven't been there yet. We thought we would have been there by now. Um, but just other things have come along, you know. So we will be coming, though, guaranteed. And last but not least, shout out to Hunter Keith who lives in Middletown, Ohio. Maybe we'll come through there? I don't know yet. That's kind of a little stretch, but that's not really too far. So, I mean, it's all in America. If you're in a car driving, nothing's too far. So stay tuned. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on where we will be going for sure. And uh, see you guys soon.